Hi, I'm Scott Wosley. I run a little business called The Spanish Acquisition, which specialises in sherry, amongst other things from Spain. Uh, this is one of a series of uh, little pieces that's designed to tell you most of what you need to know about sherry, what it is, how to drink it, etc, etc. Um, this little piece is just an intro, sort of along the lines of, so, what is sherry? What is sherry? Um, sherry? Sherry itself is not actually a word that tells you very much. It just describes the four things that makes a sherry what it is. Uh, it, it doesn't actually describe what you're going to drink at the end. Under, underneath the, the, the rubric, the notion of sherry, are a bunch of different styles that are um, incredibly diverse from light, dry, crisp, white wine-like things to incredibly sticky, dark, unctuous, sweet after-dinner liqueurs. Uh, and the rest of, uh, the rest of this series um, breaks those down into their styles and, and describes them. Uh, so this, this piece is literally just to say what categorically makes a sherry a sherry. Uh, there are four things. Firstly, um, geography. It has to come from a denomination de origin, or DO, an official wine region in the southwestern corner of Spain in the province of Andalusia. You know, think all the dancing horses and all that sort of jazz. Um, in Andalusia, there's a, a town called Jerez de la Frontera, or Jerez for short, J-E-R-E-Z. The name of this town, Jerez, is anglicised to Sherry. Um, and the region of 20 or 30 kilometres either side of, of Jerez, up the coast from the seaport of Cadiz, is the Sherry region. So firstly, these wines come from there. Secondly, they are all fortified. That means they're normal dry table wines to start with. Um, or normal table wine, sorry, some of them are, can, be, can, be, can be residually sweet at start. So you've got a table wine that is then fortified. They add um, um, uh, colourless, aromaless, neutral, um, unaged brandy spirit to the wine to make it stronger. This is um, a legacy from um, colonial times before we had refrigerated transport and shipping in bottle and all that sort of thing. Wine was punted around the world in the barrels that it was matured in and it would go off very quickly. So the people working uh, with sherry soon discovered that if they put some brandy in it, uh, the wine kept better. Um, the brandy's been refined over time to actually become relatively, a relatively neutral input, uh, so all it does is make the wine stronger and longer lived and give you a nice little um, alcohol kick as a bonus above uh, normal table wine. Okay, so that's two things. The fact that it comes from the sherry region around the town of Jerez and that the wines are fortified. The third uh, and basically final conditioning factor is that uh, the wines are barrel aged. Uh, and these aren't poncy little new French oak barrels like you might have in some, you know, uh, dandy Yarra Valley Chardonnay or, or some such. They're big old neutral um, American oak butts. Um, they stand, you know, sort of this, this high off, off, off the ground, so big, large, old, neutral. Uh, American oak barrels. They're just a holding vessel and a nice gently oxidative environment for the wine to age in. So as well as being aged in these big old American barrels, the fourth factor related to that is that the wines are um, blended in what's called a Solera system. The next piece in this series will address that, but in, in short it's a fractional blending system where young wine in barrel is blended with older and, and older again wine uh, to make a, a consistent final blend. Um, so that, they're, the, they're the four basic, basic conditions for sherry. Location in, in, the, in the area around Jerez, the fact that the wines are fortified, barrel aged and um, blended in a, a fractional Solera blending system. Um, the next piece in this series addresses the fractional blending system.